Welcome along then to the final moments of peace before a grid full of the world's fastest racing cars fire into life and charge down towards the scuffle of Turn 1. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management? A lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. What I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Kimi Raikkonen starts today from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and Ricciardo, Hülkenberg, Alonso, Magnussen and Carlos Sainz, Ocon, Grosjean, Pierre Gasly and Perez, Hartley, Leclerc, Marcus Ericsson and Stoffel van Dorn, Stroll and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. 